Hi. I'm going to be asking you a few questions, if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine, of course. So, the first one, what originally got you started out in acting? Um, what got me started out? I'd say I've always liked acting and loved film from a young age, and I kind of always thought it'd be a bit of a dream job to be on the screen acting and doing doing what I want to do and um, being like the actors that I watched as a child. So, yeah, I think from from as early as I can remember, I've always wanted to be an actor, and that's kind of what got me into it, my passion for film. What was it like to work with the other members of the cast? Um, it was really good. We had a really good team spirit going on. Obviously, everyone got along. Now we're really, really close friends after the filming and after everything's been through. So yeah, yeah, it was really good. Did you have to do anything to get yourself prepared for the role, or did it come naturally? Um, I think I do like a little bit of method acting, so I wouldn't say it came fully natu naturally to me. But um, yeah, I just kind of got in the zone, tried learning a bit about the character, and then it, it flowed, and I was able to, um, well hopefully get what the director wanted from the character. Do you have a favourite villain? <sighs> favourite villain? Of any movie? Of any movie. I'd say it'd have to be Darth Vader. I know it's probably quite a common one, but it's just the classic villain. It's a scary voice, no face, all that kind of thing. It's got everything kind of villainy about it. In the movie, there is a party scene. Show us your best dance move. <laughs> Who do you think is going to love this film? Um, I think everyone's going to love this film. I mean, obviously it targets kind of teenagers um, and kind of younger people, but I think it's a film that can be enjoyed by everyone. It's got a really solid plot, really good characters, everything about it is kind of really good and can be enjoyed and appreciated by everyone. So, yeah. Is there anything surprising about this film? Um, oh yeah, there's a few surprises and a few kind of twists and turns, but obviously I can't reveal too much about that. Did anyone get injured on set? Yeah, there was actually one incident which was, which was um, quite serious actually, we thought it was worse than it was, but it's Ben sprained his ankle. Um, so yeah, that was kind of the main, the main and only accident that happened, which was quite unfortunate. Did you struggle to pronounce any of the names? Yours is quite easy, it's Matthew but the others are quite hard? Um, not really, I think once you've heard it a couple of times, you get used to saying it, so it right, comes quite quite easily, yeah, for the Oliver names. The film is based highly upon revenge. Have you ever taken out revenge on someone or something? <sighs> not sure if I can reveal, reveal too much about that. <laughs> no, um, I think that revenge is obviously a big theme, and a big theme in a lot of films, because it does speak to a lot of people, and. Yeah, in some, some ways and shapes I've probably taken revenge, maybe not to the extent that's shown in the film, but, but yeah, definitely. What's your thought on how stereotypical Ben's character was? Um, I think it's a really kind of good stereotype that, that's, been, that's been brought in with Ben's character and um, how he kind of acts, the things he does, his personality is, is quite stereotypical. At the same time, it has got that twist to it. And it is kind of, I think it does add to the add to the scene and add to the film and add to the actual character itself because of that stereotypical villain feel. Was it easier to play Matthew due to you and Megan being together? Um, yeah, I think that could have made it a little bit easier, yeah. Um, obviously, when you're on set, there are different feelings that you feel and not having to actually act it some of the time and being quite natural, that did help, yeah, definitely. The audience only got to see a clip until the film is released in May. Um, do you think the clip sets the tone for the rest of the film? Um, oh yeah, definitely. I think that the clip kind of sets the feeling and portrays kind of the feel of, of the film and how it's set without revealing too much, obviously. It is a film with twists and turns and all sorts of things going on and we don't want to reveal too much of that but set the scene and I think it yeah, does it really effectively. Well thank you, you've been right, a, a you. pleasure to be with today. Cheers. Bye.